So guys, I am back with another Dying Light 2 video and today I'm going to show you an amazing way to earn, well, what's basically unlimited loot. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so when you're playing Dying Light and you just get to the point in the game where you're free to roam, um, which is about two or three missions in I do believe you'll end up around this area right here now around this area which is a starting area and this is great for starting players there are these things here which appear on your map when you actually go near them they're called forsaken stores so there's one here there's one there and there's one right there now these forsaken stores are loot sources as you can see on the screen now Description is forsaken and ruined. The street level shops have become dens or infected. Those brave enough to enter, preferably at night, can still find rare craft parts there. High density of the infected during the day. Now, that's not a lie. During the day, you come here, there are tons of zombies inside these walls. Absolutely tons of zombies with inside these walls. The problem is, well, it's, it's, it's kind of a well, I say win win or lose lose. If you come here in the day, the streets are well not empty, but you're easy you can easily run around the streets and get away from any roaming zombies. But when you get to these, they're absolutely jam-packed with zombies. Problem is if you come here at night, these are they're not empty, there's about I don't know, 15% of the daytime zombies within these Forsaken stores. But the streets are so full of zombies, I mean it's hard to actually get here without getting chased. So what I did was, and it's pretty smart people, because what happens is, uh, nighttime comes at 7.30 on the dot. Clock is in the bottom corner of your screen right there. So as soon as that hits 7.30 p.m., not a.m. guys, p.m., um, it becomes nighttime. So what I was doing was, and as you can see on the screen now, I just sat on a little stool outside of the shop, waiting there, crouched down, just waiting there, Make sure there's no aggro on me from other zombies. I'm just, I come here about 6.30, maybe 7 o'clock. I just sat here for 30 minutes in game, which is probably a couple of minutes. And then I just simply went inside. Now, like I said, you'll see on screen now, there are actually a few zombies within here. Um, but you can easily take them out. Just make sure you're loaded up with a couple of weapons. And these are easy work. They are absolutely easy work. Now, um, you'll see that, you see me just bashing the zombies up and then just grabbing all the loot here. Now back to the uh, actual map. Now, like I said, there's three of these in there. There's probably more that I haven't actually located yet, but these three right here, as you can see, um, exactly where they are, you can rotate these three. And the best thing is, guys, if you're in a group as well, it'd be a lot easier. If you're playing in a team, it'd be a lot easier. But the best thing is, guys, these reset these actually reset so this one right here you can see i went i i did this one first no sorry my bad my bad i did this one first which was the footage you just saw and then i ran to this one same night time um but my immunity was down so i had to run to a safe house here get my uh immunity back up then i ran back here um pretty easy i took killed all the zombies within here uh got there's a ton of loot in this one as well and then what happened was I ran back to the safe house and I waited till morning time. And then I ran back here and all the loot had respawned. All the loot had respawned, as you'll see on the screen now, that like the amount of zombies actually in here in the daytime is utterly ridiculous. But yeah, all the loot had respawned. So theoretically, guys, you can, I don't know if there's going to be more of these, no doubt. These Forsaken stores, I'm not sure. Like I said, it could be anywhere around here. I've come, I've come down to uh, this, about this area so far. And I haven't come across any more, but I haven't explored anywhere here, not up there, nothing there. So there could be more, I'm not sure. But like I said, the starting area, there's three here. So the three in the starting area, you can farm every single day. Every day. Now this one, literally, I farmed on the night, ran here. Next daytime morning, I ran back and all the loot had respawned. And there's tons there. Tons, they see me highlight it on the screen now, the, the amount of things that just blings up. So theoretically, you could rotate these and farm forever. You could get so much loot. 
then go trade it sell it exchange you know what you can do guys it's utterly crazy so yes and um, like i said come here about seven o'clock just hide out close to the store and um, because obviously like i said you immunity as well this one right here is quite a distance away from a, a safe spot where you need to get to that lighting so you get your 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 immunity back but this one right here guys it's simple that one right there easy i mean this one you can probably go here first then go there then go there uh but it's 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 quite the farm guys like i said if you're in a team it's gonna work absolute wonders now i'll show you a little footage on screen now of me looting this one night time there's not many zombies here but the amount of loot that's there is crazy i was just overwhelmed by the amount of loot my immunity almost went almost went down so i had to run back here with seconds to go but yes guys a great great farm for early game players but and that loot i mean this will help you in many many instances with crafting but you know you know i don't have to explain it to you but yes the uh, simple guide if you enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out if you're new around here and want to see more dying light too be sure to subscribe but yeah you can see me just i've speeded this up guys just to show you how much that's your loot's here uh, that's why my immunity almost went down and you'll see me in a quick second running for my life trying to get to that uv light you see me here running and like i said uh, earlier on in the video i actually went to this light and i waited here purposely to see if that loot would respawn so but i'm into the light right here I actually didn't get chased which was surprising because every other time i've done this i've got chased but once you get to this purple uv light you're fine so you can see here i stand here for oh well i cut the video you don't need to see all this rubbish i stood here for probably about 10 minutes um so you see i've cut it and i'm gonna go back to the exact spot and it's literally literally the next morning literally the next morning this is the same clip you saw earlier on when I went here and scanned just to see if all the loot was back and it all indeed was. But you can see there's an absolute shed load more zombies in here guys which is just a no-go. It's just a no-go because as soon as you walk in there they're on your ass. Well yeah guys there we have it and I hope you enjoyed the video farm away and hopefully guys you enjoyed it enough to subscribe and I'll see you on that next one.